It was five homicides in the city of Albuquerque in under a week's time. Now, one Albuquerque man is pleading for the violence to stop after his brother was among those killed. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen spoke with him. Jeannie. Madeline, APD says Adrian Johnston was the first in a string of the five unrelated murders when he was shot and killed last week at a West Side apartment complex. Tonight, his brother tells me enough is enough. We were the two oldest. Uh, I was a few years older than him. Richard Johnson says his little brother, Adrian, always tried to protect him. It's kind of funny. I remember I couldn't, I couldn't really fight that well, you know, but he was always the tough guy. And if someone came and messed with me, he was a couple years younger, but he was the one that would put his neck out. Last weekend, Richard got an unexpected call about his beloved brother. He was just in shock, and, and I began to cry um, a lot. Albuquerque police say the 42-year-old was shot and killed at the Villa Hermosa apartments near Coors and Quail on Friday the 16th. The first thing that jumped in my mind is, you know, well, you know, Jesus resurrect Lazarus. Maybe I can go find my brother and he can be alive. Richard is the pastor at Living Water Miracle Center. He admits Adrian wasn't perfect and had trouble with the law. But Richard says his little brother was trying to get his life back on track. There was times he'd come through those doors and he would just sit right there on the altar and he would just pray and he'd give me a hug, brother, I love you. I got my Bible and he'd take off. Richard says it feels like Adrian's death kicked off a string of homicides throughout the city. In a span of six days, APD found five people dead, including Adrian. They are not believed to be connected. Richard says it's time to change what's unfortunately become the norm. As a city, we're going to get through this, but I think it's going to take a lot of help um, from, from everyone. Richard says more violence isn't the answer as he prays for the people responsible for his brother's death. I don't want them to die and I don't want retaliation. I don't want any more blood. I just pray that God uses this opportunity to let you know that you killed a really good man that was trying. AP says a man was taking pictures of Adrian's body right before officers got to the scene. They also say a Ford excursion with Chihuahua Mexico license plate was seen leaving the area. Anyone with information should contact police. Madeline, back to you. All right, thank you, Jeannie. So far, no arrests have been made in any of the five homicides. Earlier this week, Mayor Keller added two more homicide detectives to APD's ranks to help solve these cases.